Hi, welcome back. In the last two videos, I took you through the process of integrating Google Pay into a React application and followed it up with how to incorporate some advanced features like dynamically updating the price based on shipping options. Today, I'm going through the basic integration again, but this time with Angular. Our integration starts by installing the Google Pay Angular component using NPM. Next up, we need to register the Google Pay button module with our application module. We will now add the Google Pay button to our item details component. We're only doing this for testing purposes, so we'll use the test environment. Because we want the button to grow to take up the available space in the container, we'll set the button size mode to fill. We'll also need to provide payment request and handle the load payment data event. The bulk of this will be defined in our TypeScript file. In our TypeScript file, we'll start by declaring the payment request property. Next, we'll set its value when the component is initialized, after we've retrieved the product item details. Starting with version number, moving on to allowed payment methods, adding payment gateway details, Our merchant details, and finally transaction details. We'll move on to handling the load payment data event. When the event is fired, we'll take this information and call our mocked process order method. If the call is successful, we'll navigate to the confirmation page. Once we're done, the Angular application should look something like this. As with our first React video, we've taken some shortcuts to keep the video short and bite-sized. In a real-world application, we would typically post the order information to the server, request shipping information, calculate taxes, and handle error scenarios. For an example on how to dynamically calculate the final price, refer to our previous React video. While this video does refer to the React component, the implementation is very similar. The primary difference being the name of the callback methods. Payment data changed callback instead of on payment data changed. When you've completed your testing, submit your website integration to the Google Pay Business Console. You will need to provide your website's URL and screenshots to complete the submission. We've now covered the integration process for React and Angular. Support for other frameworks is available through our standards-based web component version. Let us know in the comments which framework you'd like to see a dedicated walkthrough for next. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and thank you for watching.